There's a big difference between creating a website for a mom and pop shop, which you can create in your afternoon in two to three hours, versus a professional website done for an enterprise corporation or anything similar. And that's why in this video, I wanna showcase our process when working with top enterprises like Upwork and Checkout.com in five minutes or less. So let's get the time, time running straight away. Five minutes on. I want to go ahead and showcase the process from where we actually get in touch with a, with a client design development and go to production. The first step for us is always going to be the discovery workshop and I'm going to be leaving a link down below to clone this discovery workshop document completely for free. In this workshop, we're going to be going over the product demo. We're going to be getting over the product demo. We're going to be doing an interview. We're going to understand the customer journey. We're going to understand the goals and expectations for the projects. We're going to see which potential roadblocks we have. We're going to create an Octopus site map, and then we're going to be giving them a design and a development estimate, and hopefully going into the design itself. After that, you're, we're going to be able to create an octopus site map looking something like this. We usually like to skip the wireframing process because this allows us to actually be focused more on the content and what should the page have instead of the components and what components we want to have on a page. Then we clone the kickoff file down below, uh, which you can also kind of get completely for free. Uh, and then we start design in Figma. We really like to start a design in Figma so we can have as many iterations as possible that we can design for desktop, tablet, and mobile, and that we can make sure that we design an actual uh, incredible user experience instead of hacking something in Webflow by doing it directly in Webflow. This is gonna allow us to be much more uh, kind of focused on the business outcome, on the conversions, and also to uh, see the overall website as a whole and how it connects in a single place. So that's where you can see a pretty big website like this one, where we have a lot of screens, we have a lot of interactions, we have everything documented, every single interaction, everything is documented into a single place for our dev team to continue working. And we do have a design and a development team completely separate. Okay, so three more minutes. Then we're jumping into Webflow. We're cloning one of our uh, kickoff style guides, which, which you can also clone completely for free below, where first of all, we fill in uh, the full style guide. So we fill in all of the global components, we fill all of the classes, we have helper, helper classes which are gonna help us out build out the website faster. And then like the first step is always gonna be filling everything in. Afterwards, we get into Webflow, we go ahead and start developing all of the pages in Webflow, making sure that everything works and that everything works so, like on all screen sizes, that it's responsive and that it works. On top of that is now like the things will start to become like a little bit trickier and like these 20% of the time take like a, like 10 times more than actually getting to this stage is the first thing is you can go to flow.ninja slash webflow checklist and basically uh, see the checklist of everything we check on every single page. So we're going to be checking uh, do we have the style guide filled in? Do we have hover states on every single page? Are we linking everywhere? Do we have the navigation set up everywhere? Is the images uh, kind of set up properly? How is our uh, heading structure? How is our SEO? How's our speed? How are our forms? How are the CMS pages uh, created? Do we have symbols? Which naming convention we're using? Do we have logos? How are the project settings? Do we have tracking set up? And is the website working on Chrome, Safari, and Mozilla, or uh, like Firefox, like not Mozilla, Firefox browsers as expected. Only then we go ahead and move to accessibility. Webflow has a great accessibility checklist you can check out here and just make sure that our websites are accessible and that because we're working for companies that are serving a large customer base that everybody can use the website in the best way possible. After that, we send the whole website to our QA team. We have an in-house QA team which checks uh, all of the websites on live devices. So they're gonna be checking the website on iPhone, on Android devices, on tablet, horizontal, vertical, on Windows devices, on MacBook devices, on all of the different browsers. And their job is basically to break the website. And this is where the clients are gonna see the most amount of kind of value. If you wanna do like web development professionally and if you wanna do it right. If you see, if you have a million of visitors, they're gonna click uh, the website in a million of different ways. And you wanna make sure that the brand you're working with comes out looking really professional by uh, using all of the kind of features Webflow has and by also making sure that it works on all, all different browsers. After we have a list, which can be, be really, really long so from time to time, uh, we go ahead and implement that and then we go to integrations. The next thing is gonna be pretty important that we integrate with all of the different APIs and backend systems that the company is using, specifically when working on enterprise projects, that can be a, a lot of things. So after we're done with uh, accessibility, QA, uh, and also making sure that we integrate everything, we make sure that all the integrations didn't ruin our speed of the website, we make the website as optimized as possible for Google Lighthouse, and then we can go ahead and connect the website and go live. So 
if you're having any other steps uh, in your webflow development process, please leave them down below. I know we missed a lot of small details, but I just wanted to give you a short overview of how our webflow development process looks at Plus Ninja. If you want to see more videos on Webflow, the Webflow agency, and kind of how to run your business by leveraging Webflow, you can go ahead and subscribe down below. So you can click the bell icon, subscribe, because more than 60 people are not subscribed who are watching the videos, and we publish videos every single week. So yeah, until the next video, bye-bye.